straight on to Aurora at this point, right? Like 120? Pretty much, yeah. It's about below 20 degrees off to the right. Yeah, you're, you're in the right direction, for sure. So, what I would do is, you're kind of done with Twin Oaks and you don't really care. You don't haven't heard anybody that's making a call that's coming in there. Uh -huh. So what I do is I flip over to Aurora frequency, which I got. Well, I'll let you get it. I have it reached out. All right. Uh, ASOS is 118.52. Okay. So you probably don't want that one quite first. I'd flip over the traffic to see what. 122.7. Okay. Over there. Okay. So we just flip it. Flip it over. Let's see. The clock is. Calm. Calm. Yep. And now push the flip flop button. Which is where? I just turned into the flip flop button. Oh. Push the button. Now I to turn in 118.52, right? Okay. There you go, okay. now I flip that over. So that when you're done with this, you flip it over and you're over to Aurora Street. So what you do is you, you key it in here and you flip it up and what, what's on top is where you're listening to. Yes, exactly. Okay. Now I would probably get head towards Aurora because you're going to get blown into Portland there this year. Okay, how come? Because the wind was a 20. Cool, all right. We'll get set up for doing that. Okay. Now, 
and I don't really know which side is which. Oh, so that's right, because of the direction we're going in. Right. Okay, so that's 1-7 we're looking at right now. Yeah. So essentially we're on a long final. So what we would do, go come cross, cross the thing and come back around and go cross midfield? Yep, but this is not a good spot to be in right now. Okay. Because you're going to get, this is a good way to get hit by something. Okay. So what I do is I swing out to the right, okay. to ease your distance from the airport, and then cross over right at midfield. Okay. And now is a great time. We'll go back to map because we don't need to see that anymore. We'll go ahead and hit the map button. Can you see it? Right there, map. There you go. And what do you know, we're a mile 1.8 to the north of it. So we want to not just pop in and say, hey, we're here. Uh, just give them a heads up and tell them what we're going to do. So uh, I'm going to swing back around, right? So what I would say is Aurora traffic, Cessna uh -huh. 19333, we're one and a half to the north of the field. We'll be crossing midfield from west to east at 2,000 feet. Aurora traffic, Cessna 19333, about a mile to the north of the field. We're going to cross midfield from west to east. West to east. Aurora okay. runway 17. Yep. Okay. Now let's think about that throttle with purpose. So there are all sorts of just freezing on me, right? We just gotta I just let go of the plane. It'll fly. It's only been flying for the last like nine thousand hours. Right. So I just turn I just I haven't really done a cross field like this before. Sure. Just turn right now. And just cross right over midfield, which okay. is like pretty much what you're doing. Class. Pull back a little power, because you've got darn near full power in it. And let's just stay right about at this altitude. Just nice and flying with purpose. I'll give you the best recommendation about rudder inputs right now. Your feet should be flat on the floor. That's the best input right now, because you're not doing any turns. Okay. If you're turning or climbing, yeah. But when you're cruising like this, you probably don't need any rudder. Cool. So, so now, now you just whip around, go upwind? Well, we got to go out a little ways because we don't want to just bomb into the pattern, right? Uh -huh. So we go beyond it about a mile or so, okay. and we start coming down to pattern altitude, right? And then we'll do kind of a teardrop back around. And then you're pretty far away now, so I just kind of hang a right turn here, and a whip around, we'll come around to the path for a 45. For the left down one for one set. Okay, I see how, how this works. So we don't just hang a lot to go no, to cross when you actually get into a 45. What if there's somebody there already? Gotcha. Yeah. Keep your turn coming around here. Good, now we're coming up over 1200. So I boost that power up before you actually get there. I'd roll out of the turn because the wind is going to do a lot for you. So I'd roll out real gentle with your feet, doing a little aggressive with them, right? And now I bump her all the way back up to 2300 and raise your nose a little bit so you don't descend. And now what do you know? You're on a 45. Cool. Left down one for one seven. That makes perfect sense now that I've done it. Yep. So now we'll just give them a heads up and say, on the left 45 for down one for runway one seven. Four traffic, Cessna 19333 on a left 45 downwind for uh, 1.17. Aurora. Aurora. All right, so you're looking all right here. You got in yourself into the pattern here and you know what to do now. Okay. Car lead out. Throttle 15. Thousand to one thousand, thirty-one thousand. A little bit of turn up, fifty. Now here's my secret: is I turn early because the wind is blowing you up in the water. <laughs> okay, just a little bit of run, not a ton. Actually, maybe I can. The heat on turn. Yeah, I can. I can. 
still get blown out here. Alright, very sharp.
Pull a little power out, you're gonna come down just fine. In fact, you're probably gonna have to add power.
place my order. <laughs> I get it. If I order from Amazon, I've got Amazon Prime. I can get here in a couple of days. <laughs> More to the right, you're still getting blown. Am I? Yep. There you go. Ow. Don't ever let it get like, holy crap, long dart, or boy, it's popping up on you. Don't ever let it do that. You gotta. Don't react to this as much as be proactive. Okay. Not by looking at these stupid little things. These gauges. I know, but I love the gauges. I know, but don't. They're... Okay. Do it a little early since we're... Get blown out. Cool. Does that make sense? Yeah. I read out. Model 15. Raise the nose a little bit to keep it from longer. You know it'll do that. Now just add a little... Two. Three. I can oh, let it trimmer sure. down a little bit. There you go. Let's try this. Let's turn right now. Okay. Now keep the nose up a little bit. There you go. One thousand. Two thousand. Four. It's nose time. Focus on that. all the way 
way down. And he would do that to people. Some people would crack, obviously. Uh -huh. um, but he would do that to people until they could fly the whole approach with, like, sulfur smell and just getting the crap beat out of them. And they would land just fine. And he's like, you had nerves of steel at that point. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. So I, I'm obviously not going to light matches underneath your nose. Appreciate that. <laughs> but that's kind of the point of that whole thing is just try and, try and be cool as a cucumber and not let anything grab you. I mean, and it's hard because it's like, man, if I hold on nice and tight, I can save it. Right? So. Want some free pumpkins? There's some free pumpkins out there. Oh, apparently, yeah. <laughs> cool, so we'll come to a complete stop here. And then we'll tell them what's up and we'll do nothing. Aurora traffic, 19333, departing one way 17, Aurora. What does noise sensitive area mean? Climb quickly. Don't just linger and buzz over people's houses. Gotcha. There are depictions of it. Well, on the internet. Sure, there's nobody coming on final. No, really good.
the wind just got even stronger as you got to the surface and you needed to put even more feet, more hands in. But uh, I didn't look at the airspeed or anything, so. Wow. But I, that was the first. You did a lot better. Again, don't ever, and you did, I'm not saying you did, but don't ever just be like, oh man, I gotta make this sucker stick on that runway. Uh, you were just nice and patient, which was nice. You also floated away because you had a little speed and you didn't have the 20 degrees in. Yeah, it was. Oh, shoot. You had 10 in. Yep. That's alright. I want more and we'll go home. How's that sound? Okay. No, I think this has been a good day. Oh, yeah. These winds are not easy. Man, it feels like it's really kicking now. Yep. This is crowding it, so I'd, I'd widen out just a little bit. Okay. Now there, there's a thing about crabbing, you want to do it, but not too much. Just, just a happy medium, so that you're neutral over the ground. Try and roll out right on that center line. Not before, not after. Then maybe add a little power, come on, just be the master of the airplane. Don't let it fly you.
That was that was great. Those are some hard crosswinds. Those are not easy.